Well, welcome everyone to the Barrick Museum of Art here at UNLV and our storytelling event uh, in conjunction with the Spirit of the Land exhibition. Uh, tonight we have five great perspectives on the Avikwame landscape to share with you. And first of all, I want to thank the UNLV staff here at the Barrick so very much for all of their incredible help during the whole process of this exhibition, um, from installing it to just visualizing it, and, uh, and the coordination of over 60 artists, musicians, poets, and writers that have come together to tell this story in so many ways. Um, we are videotaping this tonight for the uh, uh, Barracks uh, YouTube channel for people who cannot be here. So uh, please know that later on in the evening, you will have a chance, if you wish, to get up, ask a question, or share your own story about this beautiful place. And if you do, you will be a part of that videotape, FYI. Okay, so. Um, First of all, I wanted to orient us to where we are talking about. For those of you who haven't had the opportunity to come down and visit this landscape for yourself. So the uh, Avikwame area that we are talking about is right now uh, proposed as the next national monument for Nevada uh, as a bill in Congress as we speak. And that area is represented on this map in this kind of pie-shaped wedge of gray. Uh, and that is right at the tip of the state. So south of Las Vegas and uh, north of Laughlin and my hometown Searchlight is right in the center of this area. Um, some of the places that we might be discussing tonight are Avikwame itself, Spirit Mountain. It's known in English, and that is down in the southeast portion of the monument. Currently, the eastern side of that sacred mountain is protected, but the western side remains unprotected BLM land. And uh, that is something that's on the minds of all of us who love this landscape, is how can we better make protections to this land to save it for future generations to enjoy and for the health of all of the beings that live there in this landscape. So uh, Spirit Mountain, Christmas Tree Pass, Grapevine Canyon are all areas to that south uh, in this map. And then to the west, you see the Wee Thump Wilderness Area. If you hear someone talking about the historic Walking Box Ranch, the home of Rex Bell and Clara Bow, that's in that area. And also the beautiful Crescent Peak area. So a lot to explore. This is 445,000 acres of land. It's the size of some of our national parks. Uh, and we are excited to talk to you about it this evening. Our storytellers have all spent extensive amounts of time in this area. And they are Paul Jackson, an artist and tribal elder from the Fort Mojave Indian tribe, Berta Gutierrez, Associate Program Director for the Conservation Lands Foundation, Todd Eskew, a research ecologist for the US Geological Survey, and Angela Brommel, the new poet laureate of Clark County, Nevada, and author of Mojave in July. 